And now, as I mentioned, midway through the second period, we're going to be grading the Peets and let the fans grade the Peets first. Jody Hall is a good coach. I think Mike Oak has put together a good team, but unfortunately the team is underachieved, so I'd probably say somewhere in the C range at this point. Coaching, I would put it right at a, a B plus, A minus type thing. Yeah. Any reasons? Uh, I really just like the way things are going. Unfortunately, they're not very high in the standings, but I think coaching is very strong. Yourself? I'm going to be a little bit more pesky and say right at a B, B minus actually. Just because, because of the way the standings are, you can't outbeat some of the teams, but it's not the coaching's fault. Uh, the coaching, I'd probably give an A. I think the coaching's just been amazing. Um, a B. Any reasons? No. <laughs> just <laughs> Pete and Brian, guys, we'll, I guess we'll start with Pete. What's your grade? And then we'll go to Brian and then come back down to me. Well, I'm not going to go with an A like young Matthew Sanders there. I recognize that guy, too. He goes to school with my son. One of your players. <laughs> yeah, I think I have coached him in house league in the past. But, uh, you know, I'm not going to go too far from that. I mean, Jody Hull and, uh, and Andrew Verner and uh, Paul Matuzzi, I mean, you know what? Uh, these guys put in hours and hours, just like every other OHL coach. But uh, I'll give them a B if we're, if we're giving out uh, grades. Uh, is there room for improvement? Sure there is. But, uh, you know what, these guys, uh, anytime you get someone like Jody Hull behind your bench, and Jody's got patience. He's a, he's a good teacher, comes from that Roger Nielsen school, uh, if you will, of defense first. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll go with a B. How about you, sir? I'm right there, Peter. I'm certainly not going to go with the A, uh, as your young player did. But I've got a lot of respect for Jody Hall. He's, he's worked second uh, half of the season magic mm -hmm. with this club. He's got them in a playoff situation right now. And with this team, the way they've played to be in a playoff spot, you've got to be doing your coaching. Uh, Matucci, same thing, does a great job, and Andrew Werner has certainly got a lot of time for him. He's bringing the goalies along well. B. How about you, Dan? I'll stick with you guys across the board with the B. It's obviously something that can move a lot as the season goes on. Just go back to last year, their second half performance, so who knows what can really go on. Obviously, Jody Hall's a great motivator, and uh, another couple of guys behind the bench with not as much experience, but anything can happen over the second half of the season. And now, We'll head on to their offense, so let's see what the fans had to say. Uh, well, they score enough goals. Uh, I'd like to see a little bit more from Nick Ritchie, but I'd probably say, yeah, I'll give them a B. Uh, I would actually put them at a B minus. I think their number one line is is still a very good line, but I think uh, after that, it's a, it's a little uh, there's not a, not enough depth. Yourself? Uh, what was that? Uh, the Kitchener game was the C line, the third line that did the best. So I'm gonna say we gotta change these up a bit. For forwards. Um, uh, yeah. Um, oh, uh, I'd say a B. They're pretty, they do what they need to sometimes. <laughs> now, again, started off Pete, then Brian, and back down to me. Well, I'm going to let Drummy go first this time. <laughs> sure, go Put ahead. Put the pressure on him a bit. I want that little guy as my teacher. He gives out A's <laughs> to everybody. Okay, I, you know, I'm going to take a little bit of a swipe at the offense here. You know what, if you go through their lineup, there's way too many guys with, you always look to be point of game guys, you know. They'll win games when their big guys are there. As we see tonight, there's some good things happening. I'm going to give them a C- because the inconsistency has been all over the place. I know that talent is there. there the depth, there is some issues with the depth, but there's a lot of guys with two, three, four goals. And uh, just now, some of these older guys are starting to come on, C minus. Yeah, I'm not, I'll stay in that same category. I won't go with a minus. I'll just give them a C. But I just like to see a little more consistency, and I, I think it's coming. You know, Josh McDonald is, is playing real well. Michael Clark, you know, some of the guys I think I was getting on a little bit early uh, in December, late November. Just where were they? They have arrived. They're starting to play hockey. We'll see what the future of Nick Ritchie is when, when he comes back to the World Juniors. There's rumors out there. Is he going to be traded? Is he staying put? I think if he does stay put, he's going to have a heck of a second half of the season, and they have a lot of potential to make that C into a B+. Plus. Yeah, I'll leave it with a C- minus because they're missing a lot of secondary and tertiary scoring, and scoring from the back end, which is integral to a team's success as the season goes on. And now we'll go to the defense and the fans take. The defense were probably a D to start. They seemingly come around, but uh, I'd probably give them uh, probably a C minus. B plus. Um, a B minus. 
<laughs> you know what, guys, I'll start this one off, and I'm going to give them a B- minus as well. I really like the potential that a lot of these players have. I like the leadership from a guy like Connor Bolden. I like the potential that Matt Spencer has. Cameron Lazad, a good hard rock defenseman back there. Dominic Machine, another strong defenseman. They all do their jobs very soundly. They just maybe have a hard time producing offense, as I just mentioned, but we'll go with the B- minus and throw it back up to you guys. Well, I'll go with uh, just below that. I'm going to go back to a C here with the potential that could easily become a B. I just think at times the Pete's defense are sometimes, I don't know if soft is the right word, Brian, and I'm not saying they're not trying. I'm not saying the effort is in there, but I think they have to be tougher to play against. Get nasty. Let's see a little bit more. I'm going to throw a name out there because I just saw him the other day, but a guy like Mike Martone who played uh, sort of back in your day, he was just tough to play against. He was just nasty. He may have taken uh, the odd slashing penalty, but he took it early and uh, it was he, he was the type of player that set the tone you're not coming out in front of my goalie if you do you're gonna you're gonna pay the price I'd like to see a little more of that in the second half from some of these defense we'll just get a little more nastier Peter you know what you've seen more games than any of us uh, through a lot of decades here but I'm gonna go with a C I think they're way too easy to play against like you just commented I think they've been better and and they're coming on mm -hmm. I know Tudor's got his hands full and Vernie back there with these guys, you've got two Europeans in the fold. I think if they can get better, it'll go a long way into certainly securing a playoff spot and, and success in the playoffs. But for my liking, soft to play against right now. And, and you know, Big Machine was outstanding last night on TV for his yep. World Junior team. So certainly it can move up and move up into the B and B+. Plus. Believe me, those coaches have done a great job of just getting these guys together back there and that's why they're in a playoff spot but there's a lot of work to go and uh, success will come from D first. They can get there that's for sure Dan. Yeah and now we'll move on to goaltending and the fans take. Uh, the goaltending Matt Mancini has been a much needed upgrade so I'll, I'll give them uh, I'll give them a B for goaltending. Goaltending especially since we brought in Mancini uh, goaltending has definitely taken uh, taken a turn for the better. Yourself? I'm giving him an A. Uh, he's just standing down his head man he's doing a really great job. Um, I'd give them like probably like an A plus. I think they've been given a lot of effort this year, and yeah. Uh, a B. <laughs> All right, guys. Goaltending has been an interesting topic so far this season. Dylan Wells, he got a great him high just because he's been thrown to the wolves essentially. Matt Mancini has been essentially as advertised, so I'd say I'd give them a B. No, I'll, I'll go with a, I'll go with a B. I, I like uh, Andrew Verner is one of the best in the business uh, working with these guys. By the end of the season. They're going to be uh, just fine. Yeah, I agree. Vernie's done an outstanding job. And with the D start to sort out, Wells, uh, he's a baby. He's really playing well. And Mancina has come in and really settled down. B. Right now, we're going to head to the overall grades of the team and the fans take. Well, they got to be disappointed where they are in the standings. So at this point, I think we were expecting them probably be towards the middle of the, uh, the playoff chase. So I'd probably say, yeah, that would probably fall to about a C- minus as well. I'd, I'd say the whole team's playing at a B right now. Bounces just aren't going our way, though. Yourself? Right in the middle of the pack, B. A+. Plus. Well, I said mostly B, so I'll go with a B again. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> so I'll start that off with a C with some room for improvement. Like we said many times, the second half seems to be when this team thrives. And this is a bit like parent-teacher interviews for me right now, even though I'm not a teacher. I just had the Pete's walking through the dressing room as we were grading them. Yeah. But now, Pete and Brian. Well, because I'm thirsty, I'm going with a C plus. <laughs> C plus, I'll follow Peter, and I believe there's, there's room for them to move up. If they stay where they are, they're going to be in a battle to stay where they are and make the playoffs. So let's hope they can move up. All right, guys, thanks a lot. Those were our grades for the Peterborough Pete's.